hello guys and welcome back to our today's podcast and thank you so much for tuning in and i hope you all are doing great from your respective classes and if you are new here kindly don't forget to hit the subscribe button and join our family which is a sussex squad forever always there to support harry and megan no matter what we're not living any time soon welcome and join our family squaddies i hope you all are doing great and today i don't have much to say just came across some few tweets that people made and i thought it would be better if we shared it here give our own perspective or opinions over the same and i bet or oh, i hope it's going to be an awesome awesome one and today first and foremost i came across this particular tweet which i thought it would be best if i shared it here somebody tweeted and said sometimes i just sit and feel bad for megan your husband's brother mistreats and abuses you his father abuses you sister-in-law makes you cry while you're planning your wedding Camilla parties with your abusers, Claxon and Peter Morgan. Megan really, really loves Harry. Cause trust me, you this whole experience that Duchess Megan was welcomed with, no, no person would have been able to survive in. No person would be able to kind of withstand such a toxic environment for even a single month, if I'm to see. But that's just Megan was able to kind of just be there for years before them making a decision of living. You can imagine how that, that how, how toxic that environment was. Huh? Personally, I can't just even sit down and picture it out. Because I feel that Duchess Megan did whatever she did for the sake of the respect for the sake of the love that she genuinely had for Harry. For the sake of her, her kid back then that was Archie. And the fact that she was willing to just, or she was ready for a family with Harry, those are best, or those are some of the things that probably made her never look back. And just was willing and ready to take any particular bullet just for the sake of the love of her life. Because once you just get to listen to their love experience, how they met, how things were during their courtship, you'll just get to see or just get to feel how these people truly had bonded together. That's why they were not at any particular point willing to let one another go. Willing to see one another not together. That's something that they were not ready to fight or just not ready to see themselves in that particular state or that particular situation. I don't know what you think about that tweet. Somebody also tweeted and said, because after all the things Megan had to deal with, she truly loves Harry. Because honestly, if you love someone that thing that megan had to endure is enough to make anyone run for the hills but she had her stood by her husband harry sighed wow i want someone to love me like that that was somebody's somebody's comment and that's why i normally say that harry and megan's experience harry and megan's Whatever they had to go through are things that have inspired, motivated a lot, a lot of people. I bet there are a lot of couples out here who have learned a lot. A lot of young women, young girls who have learned a lot from Duchess Megan. A lot of men who have also learned a lesson from whatever decision Harry made as a man. It's really been a tough journey for them. It's been struggles, but they never let that obstacle kind of stop them from being the people they are today. They never let that obstacle kind of just shove them down in one way or another. Because they understood the assignment and the fact that they both had a vision and a mission. And one thing I can say, these people were so much con compatible. Because whatever Harry does is what Megan does. These people align together. They don't find difficulties in both of them serving humanity, assisting people, 
it's kind of both of them were brought together and what they had was kind of similar and that's why day in day out they keep on pushing they keep on fighting they never accepted any negative narrative any negative story just kind of hit them or just kind of them kind of stop them from being the people they are today they had a goal and chose to focus on that goal and the friends that they had i only say like harry and megan have got a very nice circle of friends who supported them through thick and thin who escorted them who saw them through that process and were willing to just kind of walk them through who are always always there to just support them physically mentally emotionally because imagine getting to learn that Duchess Megan's and Harry's mental health was way much damaged. To that point whereby Duchess Megan was even suicidal. What do you have to say about that? If probably she never had somebody close to her, what would have been the story at this particular moment? And I've always appreciated her mother and that is Doria Ragland. That's truly a strong lady who loved her child, who was ready to just walk her child through. She was a mother who was always there. The battles that Duchess Megan fought, Doria was there. The battles that they had to go through Harry and Megan, Doria Ragland was there to encourage them as a mother, to help them as a mother, to comfort them as a mother, and just to make them understand that there is a future ahead and that their ending is going to be victorious and here we are now they are busy celebrating busy just making progress and whatever they've been able to do whatever they've been able to accomplish first and foremost ever since they left the uk is something that not even the working royals are even halfway closer to achieving that Somebody also commented and said, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have always been about love. They have dedicated their lives to helping others, no matter the situation. I suspect that they are always going to refuse to get involved in hatred. And that's what I love about them. These are people who day in, day out, what they just preach or what they just showcase is none other than love because they understand speaking from experience a lot of people wanted not to see them together a lot of people wanted to see them divorced a lot of people had predicted just not to see them together up to this particular juncture and that's why harry and megan decided that you know what we're gonna prove them wrong we're going to stick together no matter the situation, no matter the circumstance, because we understand where we came from. The battles we had to fight together, that's even more than enough reason for them to be together. And I love the fact that Harry and Meghan never gave the haters, the derangers, the abusers even a single chance. They never gave, uh, they never gave them that right. To kind of see that you know what you wanted a divorce and here we are we've divorced now they never and that's why this particular juncture the haters are so much silence the derangers don't know what to say anymore they no longer have any predictions about them because harry and megan have just proven them wrong day in day out they just proven them wrong that you know what we not whatever you predicted is never going to come to a fulfillment Honestly, what it gave me the courage to walk away from my own family was watching them walk away from theirs. It was a long time coming, but I needed to know I'll be okay. They showed me I will be okay and I am okay. That's why I started by saying Harry and Meghan's journey. Harry and Meghan's ups and downs really, really inspired a lot. Really, really motivated a lot. And one thing I believe, there is a lot more to come. They still have a lot more in store. Somebody also commented and said, every time I see them in a video for something they care about, I am so much impressed. The royals really miss a huge opportunity to make their life easier in the UK. They missed a lot. 
And at the moment, I bet they are so much incandescent with rage. They are so much annoyed because they don't know what to do anymore. Just looking at how Harry and Meghan are just working out things out here and them just seated doing nothing is one thing that needs to be triggering them it's one thing that needs to kind of be popping on their heads like you know what you people are working royals and you're doing nothing harry and megan are busy out there making change in people's life they are truly an inspirational they are truly a motivating motivating couple they've made us learn several and several lessons a lesson for all of us keep the head out of your heart that's a lesson i bet a lot of us should have learned keep the head out of your heart i don't know what are some of your thoughts over the same uh, kindly just leave your comments down below and that was our today's podcast and thank you so much for tuning in and see you guys in our next podcast bye